Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with uh, Democracy 3, uh, Socialist Italy. I was supposed to do a Socialist uh, Germany, uh, but I had some technical difficulty. Uh, good morning there, Adam H. This is a live stream. Uh, the purpose of this live stream is to uh, talk to some of my subscribers and Patreons out there uh, about the channel, really. Uh, like I said, I was originally supposed to do uh, Socialist Germany because I have a Socialist Germany series going on. That was thunder. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, I, have a socialist, I had a Socialist Germany uh, series going on there, but um, that series sort of had some tef technical difficulties and uh, I can no longer um, uh, play that. It looks like it was... Uh, I had some problems there. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the uh, gentleman Ghostronaut for uh, gifting me some of these mods here. Clones and Drones, Electioneering, uh, Extremism, and Social Engineering. Thanks for those gifts. Um, and this series was mainly supposed to be about them. The problem was, or this, this live stream was supposed to be mostly about them. But the problem was, once I uh, uploaded them, I think it uh, crashed my uh, Socialist Germany game. So instead, I'm going to try Socialist Italy. Uh, but these clones and drones, uh, uh, these DLCs uh, add uh, policies and uh, situations to the game, so it makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, but like I said, mostly this is uh, for talking to subscribers and fans and patrons out there uh, about uh, the channel and the channel content. Um, I am trying to expand my channel into different... Uh, genres and diversify. It's mostly a grand strategy channel with a focus on geopolitics, but I also like focusing on uh, historical games and other strategy simulations and simulations in general. So uh, if there's any games out there you guys would like to see me play on my channel, uh, feel free to comment and post down below. Let me know. Uh, also, uh, I am starting a uh, trying to become a Twitch affiliate and I'm interested in what type of content you'd like to see me play on Twitch. Uh, mostly this channel has been Geopolitical Simulator 4, but that game is not available on Twitch. So um, I'm looking for other games to play. I was playing Out of the Park Baseball, Total War Empire. Um, there's other games out there. Recently, uh, Patreon supporter Eddie Giles bought me Making History, The Great War, and there's definitely going to be a series on that coming uh, down the pipe, maybe a couple series on that, that game seems pretty interesting. So whatever games you guys would like to see me play, let me know. Uh, and especially if you could follow me on Twitch, that would help a lot. Uh, I almost have all the required content for, uh, uh, the required requirements for uh, becoming a Twitch affiliate. I just need a few more uh, average viewers. I'm down below three, so uh, like I said, uh, I'm looking to see if... Uh, what type of content uh, subscribers and patrons would like to see me play on Twitch? Uh, or should I just do live streaming on YouTube? It's up to you guys. So, anyways, let's look at the game here. And uh, if at any point you guys would like to comment, let me know. Uh, I think Super Chats and sponsors are enabled on this live stream. Um, but uh, no pressure there. Uh, really just want to uh, see what... See what subscribers and patrons and other fans are interested in seeing uh, on this channel that's really the point here so uh, just to go over the mods real quick uh, that were gifted to me again by the gentleman ghost room not you are a gentleman sir uh, this is clones and drones uh, the expansion adds a near future setting to democracy 3 human cloning drone surveillance and human level artificial intelligence pose new challenges to democratic governments. Can you face the future? Electioneering. This expansion for Democracy 3 adds party election manifestos, fundraisings from donors, pre-election speeches, spin-off events, uh, and media perceptions of your candidate, plus new election res results screen. Interesting. Extremism. Uh, this expansion is for Democracy 3 adds new policies and situations that reflect the extreme ends of politics within a democratic system, such as banning private education, outlawing same-sex marriage, and forcing unemployed to work. Hmm. And then the other one that was gifted is social engineering. This is expansion for democracy. Uh, three adds new dilemmas and policies which allow you to exert subtle change upon your country. Income taxes, economic policies are blunt instruments, but social engineering 
with social, social engineering, you can you get to influence population in far subtler ways. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, the mod, the other mod I'm going to be working with here is the Italy mod here. Uh, this seems to be the best Italy mod, or most up to date one. Uh, Double Ace and Mr. Mav. Uh, since Rome rose, Italy has become has been able to acquire 50% of the whole world cultural heritage. Italy, once a great empire, now a nation which cannot keep up with European growth, uh, corrupted government, organized crime, are just two of the several problems, and it ends off there. So that's the mod we're going to be dealing with. And a new game. I don't know if I'm going to start the series with this or not. Um, that's basically the same that I just... Oh. Corrupted government, organized crime, won't be your major issues won't be your major issues. Will you make the difference and lead Italy to rise again from the ashes and bring the nations to its, to its former splendor? We'll see what happens. Um, here's all the statistics. Tax evasion. Obesity rate. Christian. Poverty. Duh, 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 duh. I don't know if this is going to be a series or not. Let me know if you guys want this to be a series. Uh, post it down below in the comments or like the video if you want to see more of this. But I'm probably going to go for about an hour here on the live stream. So... Um, but again, really just doing this to try to find out what type of content you guys would like to see on the channel, on the YouTube channel, as well as on the uh, Twitch. Or uh, if you're interested in seeing content on live streaming on Twitch, or would you prefer YouTube? Let me know. Alright, so welcome to the new job, Prime Minister. The lives of 119 million citizens are in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns. Uh, that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping your eye on long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, don't forget to face re-election in four years, uh, so you'll need to monitor opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. Okay, so begin turn of office. Let me know how this stream is doing. Uh, it doesn't look like it's too strong on YouTube. It looks good on my OBS, but uh, let me know how that's going. Oh my god, look at all these problems for Italy. Wow. Okay, so uh, there's a lot to work with here uh, with uh, law and order. Um, wow, what are these problems? We've got internet crime. That is just above the start trigger. We've got alcohol. There's always alcohol abuse. Every country's got alcohol abuse. Maybe not Muslim countries. I wonder. That would probably be countries that don't have alcohol abuse. At least they shouldn't. Uh, Antisocial behavior. Vigilante mobs, good lord. Ghettos, oh, I hate ghettos. They're tough to get rid of. Street gangs and internet, no, inner city riots. Wow, those are a lot of different problems. Uh, all right, Adam, you'd like to see the Democracy 3, three series? Uh, we'll probably stick with this Italy series then. Um, maybe I could do live streams uh, every Sunday for Socialist Italy. That might be something uh, we could start. Sunday mornings, Democracy 3 live streams on YouTube or Twitch, whichever you guys prefer, let me know. Homelessness is still an issue. Uh, more and more citizens are homeless and have taken in the streets, taken to sleeping in the streets. Oh uh, boy. And here we've got uncompetitive economy. This is close to, uh, this is close to the stop trigger. Maybe just a slight adjustment in the corporation tax could lower that. Uh, and then we've got skills shortage. A lot of issues here. I think the big press push needs to immediately be with crime. And uh, I'm probably going to do with some, some f you know, familiar policies to start. Unless you guys know of anything in particular, any of those uh, mods or DLCs that I have there. Uh, but for right away, I think the alcohol thing is overall a major problem. And if I can get rid of the alcohol problem, that seems to solve a lot of other problems. Once you get rid of alcohol, uh, crime. Uh, I guess that doesn't have too many effects. Why do I think? Why do I think uh, that has a big issue? I guess just lowering crime in general. Crime has such a big impact on a lot of these other categories. Every other category, I think, not that one, but alcohol consumption has an impact on antisocial behavior. Oh, that's the thing. It's not just um, the alcohol abuse 
It's really the alcohol consumption that really needs to drop. That has an effect. Alcohol abuse, antisocial behavior. Well, that's actually a good thing, actually. And I'm going to raise that. I'm going to start by raising the alcohol tax. Uh, let's take a look, because I don't think this costs too much. It's nine points to raise. This is something I definitely have to do, but that's 13 points. And I'm going to save that probably for the next turn. i got to watch out. Liberals are, are not very happy with me here. And they're not going to be happy with a lot of the uh, crime issues that I'm going to... Or the security policies that I, I'm going to enact. Capitalists hate me here. Well, every time I play as a socialist country or a European country, the capitalists don't like you. Ethnic minorities, that's not something I usually have to deal with. If we solve the crime problems, I think conservatives will be just fine with us. So we don't have to worry about that too much. So, uh, alcohol is first. Uh, so the question is, how much do I want to raise the alcohol tax? If we take a look at the alcohol tax, what are we starting out with? We're starting out at $2.1 billion. How much is max? Max that is $10 billion, and that'll bring things down a lot. But it will hurt the poor, and it'll hurt equality, which will also hurt um, those race relations. So... Uh, let's find out how much money I need first of all. What other policies do I want to enact this turn? Uh, I gotta help the liberals out a little bit, so I think legal aid, legal aid, we're gonna max that out. And that's only about, that's not a lot of money. It doesn't really help out too much. Mm. Back up a second. Police, here we go. These are a lot of different categories here. Ooh, yeah, we gotta max this out. Definitely maxing that out. Conservatives will love it. State employees will love it. Crime is down. Violent crime was down. Uh, state employee income will be down. That's not good. Unemployment will go down. Street gangs, antisocial behavior, alcohol abuse. This is a no-brainer. It's only four points. And i got to write this down so I keep track of how much money I am spending here. We're going for maxing out the police. That's about two billion dollars for, uh, let's go ahead and max that out. Confirm those changes, and uh, that should help out help us out a lot. And that'll also help us out here. We gotta watch this, uh, because those, we're gonna get uh, some terrorist groups starting pretty quickly, I think, on this. So, intelligence services, ID cards, I gotta do, I gotta improve those. Armed police, I need some security effect on this. Right now, our security effectiveness is ineffective. That's not good. All right, so we maxed out the police. That doesn't. That's not a negative, really, for anybody except for maybe state employee income and membership. Oh no, that actually was positive for that. All right, so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, it took up four political capital points. We had twenty-five there to start. And it cost us about $2 billion. What else do I want to do? You know what's a good policy, I think? That is a policy I'm familiar with to start. Then there's a lot of policies here. Police drones. Clones and drones. Okay, we'll, we'll explore those. But uh, community policing, which only costs one to start, and it's like a billion dollars... Uh, that's a pretty good policy to enact right away, working with community rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages the police to better understand the needs of the local community, especially areas ethnic minorities. That's good. We need to work on that. Critics see it as an expensive waste of money, which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime. Doesn't look too expensive. It brings our total expenses up to $3 billion, and it only costs one political capital, so let's go ahead and implement that and we'll max it out, right? That liberals will like it, good, we need that. Antisocial behavior goes down, alcohol abuse goes down, street gangs goes down, this is like another no-brainer. Apply that all the way. All right, so that's about $3 billion we've spent. Uh, I was gonna see if I can give, what was it, legal aid? Legal aid to help out. The other thing is I might wanna consider cutting that corporate tax. Even though it is supposed to be socialist, if we cut that corporate tax, that'll cost 10. 
How many numbers do I have? What do I have? I've got 20. I got 20. Legal aid raises that to 7. Hmm. I also wanted to raise the alcohol tax, too. I can skip legal aid. And I think I'll cut corporate taxes to start. Capitalists like it. Socialists don't. We're supposed to be socialist. I can't get rid of it. It's cost too much political capital. That's about half a million to reduce that. And... Wealthy and capital. It's sort of a compromise, I guess. The idea is it's supposed to get rid of that uncompetitive economy. And I am going to go ahead and apply it. And so the last thing I'm going to do is raise this. It looks like we need to raise it. We have a deficit. 19 billion. I'm going to raise it. Poverty is going up. I don't like that. Let's see how much we got here. 2.1. Let's go 4. Let's look at 5. Poverty went up uh, five points. Alcohol consumption is down a lot. Quality is down. Poor is down. But it covers our expenses. So this will probably be the last of it. Uh, Francisco Bosco, how's it going there? Carbon tax is pretty decent. You got that right. I do, I do like the carbon tax. Uh, the one reason why I'm not too worried about the carbon tax, though, is usually when I do the carbon tax, it's to help improve the environment, and the environment uh, doesn't really care. Carbon tax, let's see, carbon tax, I think, is still one of these, yeah, right there. Uh, it will cost me 39 political capital to introduce, so I was going to go ahead and, since the environmentalists are kind of happy as it is, I was going to go ahead and introduce the uh, flat tax in a turn or two. It was really my plan there, because flat tax seems to bring in a lot. Carbon tax, $32 billion. Flat tax maxes out at $102 billion. Both of them are good, and I've definitely used both of them. They're both like kind of like uh, go-to. And uh, automation tax in clones and drones... I think that's already active. Is that active? Did I see that? Limited automating trading. No, that's not what I was looking at. Automation tax is... It should be... Oh, there it is. Automation tax. Technical innovation has led to brilliant inventions. The dark side of industrial automation is that it leads to job loss. Uh, less jobs means more. This is probably overall good for the economy. I'm assuming it has a big impact on um, uh, empl unemployment. So that's something I'll I can try. That doesn't really cost too much. Ten billion uh, income. That's something I could definitely test out in this uh, live stream here. Uh, how much do I have left? I have none left. So uh, let's see. Adam mentioned the petrol tax. That's another good one, and that's pretty low right now. Raising it could bring in a lot of income. Motorists will not like it. Bring it to about there or something like that. That's, that's still, a, oh, that's, the motorists don't really get upset until the end, it looks like. So we can still draw out a lot of raising it 36 capital, though. That's something to look at. Gentlemen, Ghost or not, thank you. Thank you for showing up and thank you for the DLCs. And uh, like I was saying before, any type of content you guys would like to see on this channel as far as... Oh, I also wanted to mention that I have a Twitter now. And uh, I think I put the link in the description. You guys can follow me on Twitter and I will be tweeting when I post videos on YouTube as well as uh, when I will be live streaming on Twitch or on YouTube. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, that is now an option and that's strictly... Uh, Twitter for this gaming channel. So, it looks like this turn is just about done, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, the 
money from the automation tax, I think, raises over time. Okay, that's a good point, Adam. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and click this turn here. And let's see what happens in the first round of Socialist Italy. Because Socialist Germany is no longer with us. Okay, so uh, my polls are very low. Very low in the poll. Budget deficit is up to $24 billion. Uh, do I have the Race Discrimination Act? I'll have to check that out. Stop and search. Let's check out this first. Stop and search. There are demands from the police for the power to stop and search people on the street. I think I need this with all the crime that's going on. Uh, if they believe that the individual may be guilty of a crime. Currently, police cannot search anyone without formally arresting them. Hmm. So if we introduce powers, this was a valuable weapon to fight against crime and should have a noticeable impact on violent and street crime, street crime especially. If our citizens have nothing to hide, then they have nothing to fear from this law. Leave it unchanged is a very dangerous move. It's wide open to abuse on racial grounds. Ooh, I gotta do something. So maybe that racial discrimination act might be coming up soon there. Um, and further distant police, distance the police from the community. But we just passed community policing. Um, our citizens should be free to go about their lawful business without interference from authorities. I'm going to go ahead and introduce these powers. I'm not even going to look at uh, how the uh, society has changed based on this term. We're going to introduce it. We need it. That's like a no-brainer. Uh, poor, our poor opinion has dropped. Capitalist opinion looked like it went up slightly because I think that was all the way down. Let me just check out threat level assessments. That's not it. Threat level assessments uh, rising with the Communist Party and the Traditional Values Alliance. Um, where is the Racial Discrimination Act? That I thought was Law and Order. There it is. Yeah, we haven't. We don't have it right now. Citizens, this prevents citizens from being discriminated against purely on the basis of race, i.e., racial, and racist employment practices. Only two points. Not very popular with the voters right now. Um, let's see how the ethnic minorities. If I can get rid of a lot of these problems here, I think that's going to help things out a lot. The poor are not happy with the alcohol tax. That's what really brought down the poor here. Let's see what we did here. Police force, community policing, corporate tax reduction, which is contradictory to socialist Italy, um, and alcohol tax. So the youth went down a little bit. State employees went up. Uh, retired went down. Farmers went up. Patriot, self-employed, socialists went down. Conservatives, capitalists went up a little bit. Everyone went down a little bit. Liberals went up a little bit. Uh, what is my political compass? I am 28% socialist, 37% conservative. A socialist conservative? That's what I am? Okay. That makes sense to anybody. Um, so, expenditure deficits at 24. So... Let's check out these crimes and everything. Race riots did not... Well, that's not going to go down right away, right? I have to wait another turn before it goes down, before that has any effect. All right, so since we just did something that is going to probably upset the liberals and everyone on the equality front, I'm going to go ahead and raise this seven political points. That really doesn't help too much, does it? that jury trial eight points liberals we'll wait to see next turn I think maybe I think I need a tax I think I need a big flat tax or maybe the automation tax let's see here I got I want to get let's see I can't afford the flat tax right now 43 out of 27. One turn I would be able to. If I want another turn. Uh, 25 points would put me at 52, which gives me about 9 points, political points to work with right now. And that works. That actually does work. 
on competitive economy. Oh, that went down below the stop trigger. Some things did go down. Let's, let, me, let me check that out again. That did not. All right, I guess that uh, we'll get rid of the uncompetitive economy right away, which will help the capitalists by 6%. Um, and then GDP will improve again. All right, so we're having a race discussion on the chat here uh, about racial... Let's see, fiscal socialists, but social conservatives, technically actually pretty common in Italy. Okay. I don't know that much about Italian politics. I know um, they have, is it a new prime minister who wasn't actually elected so much as he was appointed? And I know that there's been recent votes in Milan, I think, or Lombardy, and Venice about uh, seceding from Italy, I think. Italy is actually a really young country. I know historically they didn't become a country until like the 1860s or 70s, I want to say. Um, so America, the United States, is actually older than the actual country of Italy. And, uh, I mean, Italy and its culture has been around forever. But uh, they didn't unify until the late 1800s. And that's all Giuseppe Garibaldi and uh, Victor Emmanuel and that whole story. Which is a pretty cool part of history, actually. I can actually, would actually love to do a series on that, either through like Victoria 2 or maybe some other games. Anyways, who, what do I want to help out next? Alcohol. Let's, let's, let's take care of this alcohol problem. That's one of the big issues. All right, we're going to raise this. And these are Italians. So, the Italians like their alcohol a little bit. Uh, I don't think I have to worry about it as much as with the Germans. Low strength beer only. If I did that in Germany, they'd be really upset. But Italians, I think, like their wine more. So, uh, that's probably just racist discrimination. I don't know. I am Italian, so I can say that. Um, so, let's see here. Liberals, liberals will not like it. But alcohol consumption will go down a lot. The youth doesn't like it. I gotta do something for the youth and the liberals. It's 13 points. What did I say? I said I had nine points to work with. Oh, a lot of discussion going on here. Seven, March 17th, 1861, is that the day they unified? But I don't think it all unified until like the 1890s, right? Like Sicily, when did that come in? That's, I gotta look that up. Uh, but yeah, 1861. That sounds about right. Um, I'm gonna raise, am I gonna raise this, raise this now? That means I can't do the tax for another two turns. I think I, it's more important for me to end this alcohol consumption and just bring that down. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm not gonna do anything else this turn. Um, right now in Italy we have a coalition between the centrist populists, the M5S, and the right wing populists. Yeah, big populist movement going down here, right? Uh, alcohol abuse has an economic effect, so lowering it will help deficit. Yes, that's true. If we're looking at the alcohol abuse issue here, it's two billion. Usually it's more than that. Uh, usually it's like seven billion, but I don't know why it's less in uh, this game. Kanye West 2020. Okay, uh, I was actually reading an article about all the Democrat Democratic candidates that are going to be trying to challenge Trump in 2020 in America. Here, I think we've got Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden, uh, Cory Booker. All those guys are. Looks like it'll be an interesting challenge, but more interesting is the midterm elections that are going to be coming up in the next couple months, I think. And uh, we'll see what happens. There's been, uh, I know there was a big youth push at the end of the school year last year, and there was a lot of talk. I teach in a more liberal school district, uh, and they were talking about how they wanted um, gun laws because of all the school shootings that were going on. But that uh, happened, well, it's, it's summer, so there's really not a uh, school shooting. Tw Clinton 2020? I don't know about that one. I think Clinton Clinton should probably just uh, 
take a take a break there. Uh, how she lost that election was just I think it was really poor strategy. She lost the Rust Belt, really, is what happened. Um, completely neglected a huge uh, democratic dem- democratic demographic. Uh, the Rust Belt is really kind of uh, and all the unions and everything that was really where the Democratic Party had a lot of its strength, particularly starting in the 1930s and FDR and the Great Depression. Uh, that's when they that's when they made their comeback. Uh, is when they got the unions, because from uh, the end of the Civil War until the Great Depression, really, it was all Republicans. Um, and again, because the Democrats were the slavery party in the United States, they were pro-slavery. And it was uh, Abraham Lincoln, a Republican, that uh, freed the slaves. And the radical Republicans, really, in Congress at the time, uh, that freedom. Oh, no, inner city riots went up. How? Poverty? Unemployment? Why? Why'd that happen? That's some money there. That'll cost us. An American Communist Party. Wow, I guess I put Socialist German, uh, Italy in the title, so that's... Uh, <laughs> I would expect uh, people that are pro-socialist, pro-communist. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Um, landslide victory for democracy bot 2000. Dem- oh, we're going to get a, an AI to run against Trump now. All right, so that's all I'm doing this turn, right? Because I wanted to save up for 25 points would give me 39. And I think that would be exactly what I needed for the flat tax. Is that right? 43. Which one was 39? The carbon tax. Hmm. Maybe we'll get that carbon tax. I don't know. All right, I didn't save up enough political power there. Political capital. So let's go. An AI in a robot body that looks like it may it was made by a grade schooler could beat Donald Trump. Is that what we're saying? Uncompetitive economy is ended. Uh, the early problems of lack of competitiveness in our com- companies has been subdued. That should help out the capitalist a lot. And I still have zero approval rating in the polls here. Uh, my budget deficit is at 22 billion. Major, oh, this is more part of the, um, this right here looks like it's part of the electioneering uh, DLC that you bought me there, uh, gentlemen goes from thanks again. Uh, so uh, I guess it uh, looks like you have not been keeping an eye on the opinions of major financial backers. One of our wealthy donors just cut their support for a party. This may have an effect on their ability to campaign effectively unless we re- find a replacement donor for them. I don't know how to pay attention to those. Um, deficit's kind of worrying. Yeah, no. For sure. Definitely. Uh, but once I pass one of these taxes, what the heck was that? What happened there? Okay, debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been the new in the news because of aggressive Methods they are using to extract payment from people that owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend them to. I have to allow them to operate, I think, because uh, I think that would be a pro-capitalist thing, and I'm not going to have a lot of pro-capitalist policies in this um, in this uh, series. So we're going to have to do that. Most of my policies are going to be anti-capitalist. Uh, so when I have a chance to make a decision, I kind of have to lean towards the capitals. Who is the most popular party? And that is the socialists right now. So we should, we're should we going to do things to uh, appease the socialists for sure, eventually. But I have to get all the other parties in the line. And the liberals are really l- falling back here. And they are 31%. I have to watch out for my threat level assessments. No one really... Is hitting us there. I want to see what happened with these. Alcohol abuse. Why is that not going down? Ghettos. What the heck? Nothing's going down. Race riots has gone down slightly. Inner city riots has gone up. Antisocial behavior, that's going down finally. Conservatives will come along once we break that, and it's $66 million. That's not a ton of money. 
but uh, let's see we've got a little bit more room to go here so this one should be gone in a couple turns I think that went down pretty quickly Internet, inter intelligence services the liberals won't like it I gotta stop hitting the liberals I gotta do something for these liberals conservatives will be helped out when we get rid of the crime capitalists have to have been going up race relations are still an issue and everyone we get rid of these this crime and everyone will improve how are these not going down vigilante mobs police force i got to get i got to get crime down where is crime it's violent crime Crime. Intelligence services, ID cards, community policing. Let's see. Prisons. Oh, prisons. Yeah, that's right. Prisons are a good idea. Ah, great suggestion there. Francisco. Francisco or Francesco? I'm sorry, I don't know I don't know the pronunciation. Um Prisons. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. All the way. We're going all the way. All the way. Seven. It's going to cost me seven. Wait a minute. Where am I? 38. And I need 43. That'll be fine. Prisons. We're maxing that out. Extensive rehabilitation for prisons. Francesco, all right, thank you for the pronunciation. Uh, poverty and unemployment are the big keys. You got that right. Yep, I see. I saw that in the uh, Germany series for sure. Poverty and unemployment. If you can get rid of poverty and unemployment, you can definitely solve a lot of these problems. Uh, so let's take a look at unemployment. What's hitting this really hard? Agricultural subsidies, state health services, GDP, we have to improve the GDP, really. Skills shortages. You know what? That was something I was looking at. Youth. This grant, which is only seven. I like this one. Because there are a lot of positives across the board here. University grants. Not all citizens pursue university education. Governments can provide subsidies to students to encourage more educated workforce. University grants also ensure the equality of opportunity as in their absence costs of university education can be beyond the reach of working class families. Uh, I like this one. They are expensive. Huh? Let's see how much they are. They are a little expensive. Four billion. Um, but I think my flat tax will cover it. Start implementing stuff like food stamps, free eye tests, free school meals. Yep, those are all socialist programs, I think. Skill shortages can be solved with education subsidies. Check on public schools and public health care. I'm going to go past this one. And let's check on public schools and public health care here. Private schools. That's environment. Private schools. Education. Where is... State health program. Let's see here. Are there like, shouldn't there be a public school, state schools? State schools, not a lot of money going there, shared textbooks. I've got 24 points here. I'm gonna get 25, which will put me at 49. I need 43, so I can do six more. I can use six more points. And where do I wanna do that? And that's eight. That's seven, I can't do that. Liberals will not like this. 
and it's seven. So science funding maybe. Uh, upping state school. Let's see how much would it cost to up a state school. Eighteen. We're not going to do that. Science funding. Science funding. Is that under technology creation? Science funding. That's six. What will that do? State employees will like it. Unemployment will go down. GDP will go up. Energy efficiency and technology will all work out. Six billion dollars. Particle accelerators. I can do it. Does socialism always go hand in hand with liberalism, or can you have conservative socialists? I don't think socialism goes hand in hand with liberalism necessarily. Uh, if you look at particularly like, depends the type of liberalism you're talking about. Um, there's two different types of li liberalism. If you look at like the 19th century, the 19th century liberalism or the classical liberalism, which is more of like an economic liberalism, uh, originally. Uh, a lot seemed to align with uh, the working class, but then the revolutions of 1848 is when the uh, socialists sort of uh, broke away from that uh, classical liberal movement, and uh, then you sort of have this divide between uh, socialism and uh, you have more of like a modern liberalism, which is a, a social liberalism, and then 19th century liberalism is economic liberalism. Uh, but liberalism in general is should be about more freedom where socialism and like liberalism generally talks more about the individual freedom I think where socialism is more about the community if that makes any sense and of course things vary from country to country uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these changes here and uh, let's see here liberal group at the heart uh, the liberal politics political group defines people who believe strongly in personal liberty and freedom. This includes freedom from unwarranted monitoring of intrusion by the state, which socialists would prefer that. Uh, liberals are also strong supporters of human rights, and sometimes you do have intrusion in the state, or some people think there is intrusion in the state for that, uh, such as the right to free trial, right to personal privacy. Liberals are often characterized by people uh, opposite of the religious right. And then if we go to socialists, socialists are firm believers in the redistribution of wealth. Uh, those who are successful and highly paid both should be heavily taxed so they provide better quality of life for the less fortunate. Socialists believe in a large role uh, for, state, for the state in providing universally available services such as free health care for all, free education, and heavily subsidized housing and support. So, like, they can kind of align, I think. Um, yeah, so democracy theory liberals sound more like classical liberals for sure. Um, and, you know, they can share a lot of opinions on similar issues, but there is a distinct difference, I think, between liberals and uh, socialists. And, again, liberalism is a broad term, and there's different types of liberalism out there. So... That's the political science lesson for the day, I guess. Uh, here we go for the next turn. Democracy, you see, socialists are more like social democrats. That makes sense. Okay, click here. Moment, monument, vandalized. No! Oh, conservatives aren't like it. Vandalism in the streets has reached new heights today when a gang of young thugs damaged our sacred or scarred war monument memorial. Uh, it seems that crime has got completely out of control. Yep, uh, no place is safe from the thugs and the vandals. This is like clockwork orange. Uh, conservatives voters are likely to be especially disappointed by things going badly here. The one percent opinion in the polls. Our opinion has approved. We have to get this deficit under control this turn. Hopefully I don't get shot anytime soon. There is no terrorist threat right now. Let me see this again. 
Communist Party is going up. Friends of the Planet is going up. Farmer Society is going up. Everything else is going down. That's not bad. Uh, what the heck? Is crime not going down at all? Race riots. Race riots are getting close to the stop trigger. I did that already. Uh, nothing on inner city riots. Come on, baby. Antisocial behavior. That'll be. That'll take a bite out of crime. Um. Yeah, you're absolutely right there, Francesco. I am going to try to get a flat tax pass this turn. And that is going to bring this down. So 14%. This would kill. Bring in a little bit of income. Uh, that would be nice. And it would get... Tourism would help, too. That would help with the GDP. All right, antisocial behavior is our first one. Yeah, vigilante mobs is going down. Very good. What does that do? Conservatives, tourism, ghettos. Alcohol. What the heck? There it is. There's our drop in alcohol consumption. Okay, that's on the way. Ghettos, nothing happening there. Street gangs, nothing happening there. Skill shortages on the way down. That would help the GDP. Credit rating. Yeah, that's another point. Credit red, credit rating uh, would go down. Yeah, Italy probably the lowest credit rating. I don't know. The United States probably is. Well, the United States has good credit rating, actually. Um, as long as we keep paying the bills on time. So, borrow to pay them on time. That's the key there for the United States. So, what am I doing? No! Do I not have enough? Did I. Is my math not good? Can I not add? I can't add or subtract. I am an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. So I'm not going to spend... How many turns do I have left? 13 turns for re-election. I got plenty of time. Alright. 20 is my maximum for spending political power on this turn here. I'm not going to do more than 20. Racial Discrimination Act. Where is that? I can't believe I screwed that up. I am not a math teacher. I'll say that right now. They, this is not very popular. What were some other suggestions that we had on that? Petrol tax. Petrol tax. Yeah. 36. No, we're not doing that. We can't do that. Um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Uh, capitalists will actually like this. And uh, farmers won't have a problem. Good for health. Not good for unemployment, though. I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Labor laws. Capitalist opinion is going up. Uh, I'm going to help out the liberals a little bit. And just apply that. That's H. And where was the other one? Nope. That's 7. They're not very expensive. And they seem to help out groups enough. I have Democracy 3 Africa. Um, rural development grants are nice. Okay, I'll check that out. Next turn, is that here? Organic farming. Rural development grants. It sounds like it's under the economy. 
Small business grants. I don't think I need help with farmers right now. There's world development grants. Ooh, that's very popular. That is very popular. Ooh, that's something to consider. It's only six points. That's not bad. That's a good suggestion there, Francesco. Thank you. Don't side with the capitalist pigs. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm trying not to. Uh, where's my socialist status? I gotta make sure I keep raising. This is socialist uh, Italy. Seventy-four percent of the people are socialists. All right, twenty-six plus twenty-five is fifty-one. I'm just gonna play it safe and make sure I have enough to raise this flat tax. Posturing. Yes. No. No! No! Oh my god! This is a disaster. 1% of the vote. Ban same sex marriage, huh? No, I'm not gonna do that. We are going to allow same sex marriage. That's a liberal thing. I don't think it's a socialist thing. But I gotta help out the liberals. Conservatives are going to be helped out very soon, as soon as all these crimes are solved. Yeah, Doctor Strikes, that hit me last time in the Socialist Germany one. I don't know why that keeps hitting me. Alright, liberals are up, state employees are up, parents are down. Antisocial behavior is down below the stop trigger. That will save crime. That will save conservatives. I'm starting to get pissed off here. What is wrong? Oh, this has probably been dropping. Oh my god. It that well, how did that drop? I didn't think that dropped. Alcohol abuse dropped. I'm not doing anything this turn. Because I'm just going to make sure I can pass this flat tax on the next turn. Race riots. That's about to pull. That will help out a lot of people. Strong leader. I don't even know what that is. Whoa. This is something else. Voters' perception of your candidate and party have an important influence on undecided voters... In an ideal world, your party will see will be seen as high in all major in all three major perception measurements. In practice, your policies probably prevent that, but compensate with media events. Don't waste the media events too far from the election, as their effects will wear off over time. What the heck, electioneering? I don't know how to get back to this. Oh no. Uh, I'm stuck. No! Oh, thank God. Oh, wow. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Can I do a Democracy 3 African series at some point? Yes, I can. Do you have a particular country you would like to see, Adam? And this is my first time playing these expansions, too, so I don't know anything about these expansions. And I don't know how to get back to that. I'm going to go through this turn and make sure I have enough for the capital tax. No! What the heck? Egypt, Ghana. Oh my god. This is about an hour. I was planning on doing an hour. Um, so I'm probably going to put an end to it, I guess, now. Um...
Let me see if I've saved it, if it's saved at all. Auto save. All I have is the autosave. For some reason I can't save other than autosave. Okay, so we still got the Italy thing here, but something happened there with that. A little bit of a breakdown there. But I am going to end this series here, I think, or this uh, live stream here. So I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Again, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch, I'll be posting when I will be doing live streams on... Uh, oh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll be t posting when I'll be doing live streams on Twitch or YouTube. Would you guys like to see this uh, series on Twitch or would you prefer it on YouTube? Post down below in the comments. Let me know. Um, uh, thanks for tuning in there, Francesco. I'm going to pro probably do this every Sunday, I think, if this is a good time uh, for YouTube. Uh, but I do want to do Twitch as well, so if you guys are on Twitch, follow me there. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot there, gentlemen. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you later.